Hi. Hey, Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. How's it going? It's going. How's it going for you? You know, I, the minute I saw your name, it goes, is that the same one? Yes, it is. She made that transition. <laughs> so, um, you know, a lot of us know the original movie. So what came, give me the whole story about the, the short version of putting this, putting this story together into a feature series. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so um, of course I had seen the movie, you know, uh, I think for everybody in the entertainment industry, the original movie was so iconic and so kind of like controversial at the time. And so the idea was really for me to sort of figure out a way to tell this story in 2020, you know, right now, 2022, and tell it from a female perspective. And um, I've been an actress since I was 10. I've grown up in this business and I just sort of felt like I had a lot of things to say and stories and crazy experiences. And um, it just felt kind of like the right time to tell this story. Now, both characters are very thick skinned. You know, one has power, the other one wants power, you know, and there's a level of balance between the six episodes. You know, did you frame it so that, you know, we didn't know where it was going to go, you know? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I mean, hopefully, like, it's a bit of a ride, you know, I definitely sort of wrote it thinking like, oh, I just want it to kind of move like you get on this freight train and it takes off and you're just like on, you know, and you can't really get off. And uh, yeah, I think that it ends in an unexpected place for sure. And I think it kind of subverts like you think that Lou is one thing, but she's not. And then you think you have it figured out and you're like, oh, I know what this is. And then it sort of turns and turns and turns. So that that was the goal anyway. So hopefully that hopefully that uh that that is coming forth. And then for yourself in the process of making that transition to uh writing and putting this stuff together, what did you learn in the process when you put this? You know, especially when you're telling them a story about the industry. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's been, it's been great. Like I'm obviously an actor. I will always be an actor. I love being an actor, but being able to write and create things. And, you know, this is my first time show running something, which was always like a huge dream of mine. I always sort of had this dream of like, I want to be a showrunner one day. And so now, you know, I've actually done it. So I'm super grateful and, um, yeah, it's been, it's been incredible. It's been, uh, it's been quite a ride for sure. And it's really fun writing roles for actors and then watching those actors, you know, Donald Sutherland is someone who I've always adored and been such a huge fan of and, you know, sitting on set and watching him say things that you wrote by yourself in your, you know, in your office in the middle of the night, it's like, it's trippy for sure. It's really cool. And as you mentioned, you know, as a showrunner, and to be given this project and they gave you the production design looks amazing. You know, sometimes, you know, when people's first project is usually done on an independent level. You can see it here. It's very glossy, you know? So, you know, how much control did you have over everything in terms of like, oh, this looks great. You, got, you know, the cast is great. Um, could have been first all along, you know, did, was it always meant to be a short series? Cause I could see this going on and on, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, the goal is to go on and on. Like I've always envisioned this as an ongoing series. So hopefully people will watch this and like it and we get to keep doing it. But yeah, I mean, for me, a huge thing from day one was I'm not shooting this anywhere but LA. I'm not skimping out. If we're going to tell this story, we're going to do it right. All the locations, whether it's Man's Chinese Theater or Pink's or Jumbo's or the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, like all those locations, Mousseau and Franks, like they were very expensive. So uh, we were very lucky, you know, to be able to kind of really sort of scrimp on certain things, but not scrimp on other things. Cause I mean, the DNA of the show is very much a love letter to LA and anyone who lives in LA or has been to LA knows when you're cheating. And so I was like, I don't want to cheat. I want it to be all real and all the real locations. And for it to really feel like we are in this space, even like the apartment that Lou's character lives in was actually the apartment that Marilyn Monroe lived in when she first moved to LA. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Hey, so, you know, you've done a great job. Obviously, you know, the title alone is gonna get fans watching it, you know, not only because of the cast you have, but obviously anybody old enough knows where it's probably gonna go, but differently. So congratulations on this. I look to see more of what you can do and keep it going. Hey. 
We're here to support. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. Take care. Thanks so much. Okay, bye.